today's a really important day. It's an important day for us at Uniting and for the Uniting Church, but more importantly than that, it's important for the 200,000 Australians who every year are unable to access the drug and alcohol treatment service that they desperately need to get well. I'm really proud the Uniting Church is confronting some of the relevant issues in our society at the moment. I really want change, I really want inspiration that allows people to hang on these new ideas and take them forward in their own world. It's not generally good to live a life affected by drugs. However, with management, we can be much less cruel in the way we're doing today. We're here today to advocate for fair treatment for people who use drugs. We want to make sure that people who use drugs are not stigmatised and not discriminated against and given equal opportunity in society. And we believe in that together, don't we, Lani? Yeah. We stand united. Yeah. I am so pleased to be here to help launch the Fair Treatment Campaign, which in a nutshell is about treating drug use as a health and social issue rather than a criminal one. We're really excited to bring people some really great content today for the launch of our campaign. We've got the Global Commission on Drug Policy coming all the way from Switzerland to be on the panel with us, alongside Dr Jauncey, who's the Medical Director at our Injecting Centre, and of course Sir Richard Branson. Sir Richard Branson is here. If we can just start treating drugs as a health problem, not a criminal problem, it's just blindingly obvious that, that you're going to start getting on top of the problem. The Fair Treatment Campaign is about treating people fairly under the law, but it's also about access to fair treatment because treatment works, there's not enough, we need more. So, why is the Uniting Church involved in reforming drug policy? It's because our faith in Jesus Christ compels us to offer hope and life for everybody in our society, especially serving those who are marginalised or disadvantaged, who are often those most affected by drug policy. So this morning, we launched the Fair Treatment Campaign. If you find that moment in somebody's long, difficult life where they're ready and able to seek treatment, as a society, I don't think it's too much to ask for us to be able to provide that. The current system is not working and there needs to be a change. Uh, so if you can regulate and actually warn people of the dangers of, of drugs, you know, we believe that's a much more sensible way to go. We're launching a campaign which shows respect and compassion for people who use drugs and advocating for them in what I think you'd agree is an imaginative and bold way, particularly helped by the people on the stage today. You can see the commitment in how the commissioners see themselves in this discussion. And when you have 50 years of laws plus media propaganda, it gets into people's system and everyone started to integrate that stigma and even that self-stigma for people who use drugs. Absolutely. The problem that we have is not only with drugs that could be risky, but mostly that most of the harms are coming from the policies that we're putting in place. As part of Uniting Church, Uniting is bringing a loud voice to try and change systems that trap people in a cycle of disadvantage. And we are so delighted that you've brought your voice to join us as well. Thank you so much again for being here today and a big thanks to our special guests.